What's up guys, my name is Khan, and we're back today with more Scrap Mechanic, and today we're doing something a little bit different. I was actually watching one of Scrapman's videos, and I saw recently that he made a parachute in Trailmakers, and so I thought, let's just take his exact build and copy it 100% and put it in Scrap Mechanic, because here on the channel, we believe in nothing but original content. If we look at his system, we can see that he actually uses a series of 15 sort of different individual wing pieces, and they're all kind of curved. And a few things to note, he's got a little bit of a tail section there that rotates with roll, as well as when he uses roll controls, it seems like the wings themselves kind of tip up and down, and when he pitches, all the wings kind of roll up and down. So I feel like we should be able to do this with just pitch and roll, I don't think he has any yaw controls, and just make some kind of parachute type device that sort of floats the ground. I mean, I know it looks more like a paraglider, but we're gonna just try and copy his build 100% exactly how it is, except instead of in Trailmakers, we're gonna do it in Scrap Mechanic. All right, so in Scrap Man's video, he had uh, sort of a giant launch area that he kind of dropped it off of. Now, in Scrap Mechanic, we don't really have that, so I've built this really sort of tall platform, and I figure we'll just kind of teeter it on the edge somehow, and maybe kind of flip it off and have it drop down. Now, we can start by building over here where we got a little bit more space, and in order to do this, we are gonna use a few mods. So I figured we needed the mod pack for the smart engines here, which will allow us to do the pitch and roll relatively easily, as well as some of this logic. And then we obviously needed the wings mod. And then there's only one other mod that I've added in, which is to kind of make gliders work in Scrap Mechanic. Gliding in Scrap Mechanic doesn't really work because of the way drag works in Scrap Mechanic. So of course, we've got the engineers mod just to add in that drag reducer block. So the first thing we're just gonna do is put down a seat with some weird pipe assembly going up to the top. And then we just need to really make five wings at the top, put on some bearings, throw it off a cliff and see what happens. Now I'm just realizing the first problem, which is probably that we're gonna want a center pivot point for the tail piece and unfortunately these large wing pieces here i think they're four blocks tall yeah they seem to be four by four so we might have to actually just use smaller wing pieces and make them five wide and that way we can have a three wide seat and have just sort of a three wide assembly and then a five wide wing section and uh, hopefully we'll be good to go so we'll just kind of set this up like this and we'll do a double bar canopy system like he kind of did and then have them go straight up, no problem. You know what, we can actually just put our drag reducer block right here. We only need one of them. It doesn't make a difference where you put it, and we can just slap it there, and we're done with that for now. So I think we've got the first wing section. It'll be three wide there, and then we'll put a bearing, and then we'll just kind of stack each extra section of wings on the bearings. Okay, perfect. So I think we've actually gotten something here that's a, a little bit decent to what Scrabbit had. So we've got four bearings here that are all just kind of attaching those wing parts. They're all curved together, and that'll curve all the wing pieces. And then we've got a bunch of logic. I'm realizing with the way the mod pack logic is set up, it might take a little bit more space on our bottom section compared to what he had, but it should be okay. We should still hopefully get the same effect. We might also have to bring this up a little bit, but if I've done this correctly, we should have this thing wired up so it's default curved. And if we press L, it straightens out that side. And if we press A, it straightens out this side. And I'm realizing now that's actually opposite. We want it to straighten out the one side, the opposite side, if we turn left, right? And then and then the right side, I think. We should just be able to do this, right? There we go, perfect. Now we roll left, roll right, awesome. And then we'll just have to stretch this up a little bit and we can just reconnect the smart engine connections and we should be good to go. We've got them right now on a 15 degree. It does some weird kind of stuff. We can obviously change that. That's what this button is hooked into. The mod pack logic, it's really not too bad. The problem is you have to give the motors a speed and a position. So the speed is constant, but we're giving it different positions when we press A and D here. And uh, hopefully this will work. I really hope this works the same way it did in Trailmakers because if it does, that would be absolutely awesome. But we'll have to see what happens here. So We've got that, we need pitch control, but I think the pitch control can just go up and down and curl the whole thing. I don't think the logic for that's gonna be nearly as difficult, but uh, let's just set that up right now. All right, so we've got all our bearings there and we've got them all connected to another smart engine, which I think is configured into pitch correctly. Now, I believe Scrapman's tail didn't have pitch on it. It was only pitch on the wings and I think the tail just had a vertical fin for some stability as well as just roll. I don't think he did pitch on the tail, which is gonna make this a lot easier. Now, I know this looks a little bit complicated, but really we're just gonna have to make another little wing section now and then we should be good to go. So we just need a section of three wings and then we should be able to just weld them all up and hopefully test this thing, I guess. 
You know, if I do say myself, this is starting to actually look pretty good. It's either looking like a, a kind of like a parachute or maybe a really nice patio umbrella. But either way, we've still got that roll control function, which is great. And if I've wired this up right, I, oh boy, uh, I obviously, uh, okay, well, it's kind of doing something. Hold on, hold on. We're actually, this might, this might not be a problem. We need to reverse some bearings here. All right, perfect. I think we're good to go. So I, I believe this is how he did his pitch control as well. So you can see if we want to pitch up, it sort of rolls all the pieces up and then it kind of creates that wing effect up, which will hopefully curve us upwards. And then if we pitch down, it'll do the opposite. And then if we let go, it just keeps it straight there. We're only doing 15 degree motions. Same sense with the roll. It's only 15 degrees. I have these right now connected to the same value. So they do have to both be 15 degrees. We can, of course, disconnect it if we find that we need one to be better than the other. But I think this looks great. This is looking pretty much exactly how Scrapman had it. Now we just need to throw a tail on it and put some roll control on the tail. And I think we're good to go. Now for the tail roll control as well, I think we can just connect the steering bearings straight into it and have no problem with that. So we'll just put an extra little sort of attachment here and another one here. And then hopefully we can actually just make a tail kind of extend out of here. I'm worried it might interfere with the pitch a little bit. And then of course, I don't know how we're actually gonna get this off a cliff, but these are problems we'll figure out later. So if we were to draw a line straight out here, does that interfere? Oh no, it doesn't. Look at that. That's actually perfect. I mean, maybe maybe a little bit. It looks like it pushes that up a little bit, but you know what? That'll be fine. So we'll just bring this right out, just like so. And then we, he had a three-point tail. So he had a top piece, which I don't think moved, and then two side pieces, which would roll. So we can just do side piece here. And using our wings, we'll just put... Uh, a couple like this just make a nice little tail I don't know if we need a tail or not in scrap mechanic but I do want to make first of all exactly what scrap man made because he did say that he needed the tail to add the stability so I feel like you know we've got to just be true to the build if we really want to be uh, a perfect copy here so there we go this is looking great now if we roll left roll right that's awesome and and then pitch and pitch I mean this is it this is the whole build you know what that looks perfect look at look at how amazing this looks you could not even tell this is a 100 original build i mean people are just going to come here and they're just going to be so amazed with how i came up with the inspiration for this awesome parachute idea so we're going to call this the not scrap man's parachute parachute par shoot all right now we'll just go up to our super awesome tall platform and see what happens i honestly have no idea how this is going to work out. We'll spawn it in here and, uh, I mean, just put it right on the edge. Is, are we even able to drop off the edge? Oh, okay, perfect. So if we put it on the edge like that, it'll actually just roll off on its own. That's actually great. So, I mean, we just drop it in and then hop in and pull up. This might not be high enough. You know what? We might need a taller platform, but here we go. Let's just, you know, let's just try it. And here we go. First test in three, two, one jump in all right per pitch up pitch up pitch up <gasps> it's working i mean totally not working uh, it, it... we need we need more speed when all else fails all you got to do is copy that building style that we all learned from minecraft and just stand on one spot jump up and down and keep clicking your mouse as fast as possible eventually we'll get somewhere and then we'll just build out a big platform and we should have a tall enough, you know, ride. I think it was close. It looked so much like it wanted to work. And I feel like we just didn't have enough speed to really make it happen. Okay, I think I think we're good. If there were clouds in Scrap Mechanic... Oh, there are clouds. I actually never noticed that. We can't reach those clouds, though. But if there were clouds in the map here, I feel like we'd be above them. So let's just jump up here and make a, a platform there. All right, so let's spawn this back in. And uh, we'll try and leave it right on the edge again. So that was... Uh, we'll just move this back here. Bring it forward. I think it was just like that right oh that that seems too far forward oh you know what that might be okay well let's just do it here and uh test number two in three two one jump in all right let's go oh no don't no 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 we got we didn't pull up quick enough this is not this is not good this is not uh, this is not good uh, it's not what we wanted you know, the one big flaw with this build is the fact that we are going from a game that has built-in aerodynamics physics to a game where we're using a mod to fake aerodynamics physics. So, I mean, the chances of this working successfully are probably pretty slim. Uh, but, you know what? Let's try it again here. 
get another test going and i did extend the tail back just now hopefully this helps keep us a little bit more balanced we also have a lot of weight on the bottom here we might need to shift our weight a little bit i'm not exactly sure like we might need to add you know what let's just do it now let's add a few more blocks to the front here just to bring the weight a little bit more forward and hopefully that helps all right we've got it lined up over the edge again and here we go let's try it again all right now we got to pull up right away pull up pull up pull up yes it's working it's it's working ish oh my oh my goodness we're actually kind of moving we're gliding ish it, the pitch is too much the pitch needs to be a little bit less of an angle but look at this we're actually gliding and we're picking up speed oh the pitch is way too strong it is so aggressively strong it just it flicks the whole thing up and and but you know what we actually made it somewhere all right i think we just need to change the pitch a little bit Maybe add a little bit more weight in the front to help pull the front end down a little bit more because it looks like it was kind of always wanting to pull back. And uh, I think we should be good to go. Okay, so I've gone ahead, changed the pitch from 15 degrees to 5. We're still going to keep the roll at the 15 degrees. I, I don't know if that makes to make a difference or not, but really, really minimal on the pitch now. You can see it's only like 5 degrees as well. Added a little bit of metal blocks to the front. We might have to balance the weight a little bit more, but I'm hoping... This will make all the difference. All right, so we've got this lined up again, and just the last little bit will hit the edge. So here we go. In three, two, one, drop it in. Pitch. Oh, that's so much better now. Oh, look at that. That's so good. The roll seems a little bit aggressive too. You know what? We can probably drop the roll from 15 degrees as well on the wings to even less. Look at it. We're getting so much more distance this time. Yeah, the roll, the roll is definitely a little bit twitchy. Let's let's reduce the roll next time too. Are we gonna make it around this pillar? Oh my goodness, this is awesome. This is so good. Oh, this is this is I dare say this might be better than Scrapman's version in Trailmakers. Okay, so I think we're ready for one more test. I've finalized everything here. I've reduced the roll a little bit. So instead of it doing crazy adjustments, it doesn't go completely flat anymore. It'll keep it still mostly curled and just adjusted a little bit uh haven't changed the roll on the tail but the pitch definitely made such a difference i feel like from here we got to be able to make it to the edge of the map so let's just do it again here we go and boom pitch up perfect oh i love that oh yeah that looks great still it pitches up a little bit but you know what oh this is amazing we just got to make sure you maintain that speed just kind of feather the controls a little bit it's definitely more twitchy than uh, than his Trailmakers version, but look at that. Perfect. Just gliding through there. We're not going to make it to the edge of the map in this run. We'll, we should make it in another run. We had a really bad start. You have to do as minimal adjustments as possible. The more adjustments you do, the more it seems to screw up your flying. But that wasn't bad. You know what? That was pretty good. Let's try it one more time and see if we can get a perfect run here. So I made one final adjustment as well. I've added a second bearing in the back here just to do a little bit of a controller adjustment because I want to have an auto pitch up so we don't have to keep constantly holding the pitch up. Now, this might be too much. I'm not exactly sure, but we'll see what it does and hopefully it'll work. And uh, this should be the final test. I want to make it to the edge of the map, but we'll see how far we make it. So here we go. And in three, two, one. Oh, perfect. You know what? This is actually, this is not helping at all. That pitch didn't do much. But you know what? We're still, we're still gliding great. This is actually looking really, really well. I love how quiet it is too. There's just no noise. And you know what? That pitch does help. We kind of roll a little bit to the one side, but we're doing okay. We might, we might just not have enough height to get there. The engineering block, of course, helps you get that extra long glide distance. And you can see, look at this, just amazing. But it just, it might not be enough height to generate enough speed to get us across the whole distance of the map. But you know what? We're going further and further each time. Look at this. This is so cool. Oh, perfect. We're not going to make it up that ridge, are we? There's no way. Oh, what a glide, though. What an awesome gliding experience. Look at that. We made it so far. You can't even see the pillar. It's Oh, we can barely see it way off there in the distance. It's way, way up high. But of course... Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. I will include the link to Scrapman's video down in the description. I encourage you guys to check it out and just see how close this actually is to his. I'm pretty sure it's a perfect match. I think if you were to look at both of these in two different games, you wouldn't see any differences between them at all. But really, really cool that we were able to duplicate his build and scrap mechanic because original content is definitely the way to go. But really cool that we were able to make this and uh, actually make it work in scrap mechanic. You know, I had a few doubts but it's actually possible to make gliders, especially with that engineer's block. And I think it's super, super awesome what we can do. But of course, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. And while you're at it, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. And as always, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And we'll see y'all next time.